Okay, to begin our Blaze monster truck, I'm going to start by making his tires. I've rolled up some black gum paste, as you can see, pretty darn thick. It's about three quarters of an inch. And I found a good size circle cutter and cut out four of them, four tires. Now I'm going to take my tires, and first I'm going to admire them. And then I'm going to jam them with the end of my rolling pan. I'm going to kind of press down in the center to hollow it out. And then I'm going to try to make sure that I centered them when I pressed down in the centers because they were a little off kilter. So I had to go back and kind of readdress it, fix them up a little bit. I am pressing down on the outside too to get them back into shape because they did smoosh out a little bit also. Just a little FYI there. Now I'm taking some orange gum paste. I cut out some big circles and I'm going to press it into the center of the little wells that I made. It didn't come out very even, but I wasn't too worried about it because I'm going to line them in some red gum paste. So it should, in theory, you know, tidy it up, cover it up, make it look a little neater. So I'm not too worried about the edges yet. I'm putting another little red piece of gum paste, a little red circle in the center there. I made lots of circles so far. So far it's pretty easy. And once again, just kind of pressing them into place, make sure they're as, you know, as good as you can get them. Now here comes the lining part. I have my red gum paste once again. Roll it out real long and thin, cut long skinny stripes just like that. And then after putting some water around the edge at the top, I'm going to line my tires with the thin stripes of red. Anything extra is just gonna get trimmed off. So try to place it carefully. This was where things kind of really went off the tracks for me. It turns out I can't freehand a circle <laughs> as well as I thought I could. So maybe if you take your time with those orange circles and make them a little neater, outlining them will become easier and make for a neater outcome. Because I spent a lot of time, as you can see, I got the four tires, this is last one, finished up and they're a little rough. So I had to go back and tweak and everything and try to, try to make them a little rounder, a little smoother. All right, now to make the treads on the tires, I have the gum paste rolled out pretty darn thin. It's a little thicker, um, you know, but not too thick. He still went it on the pretty skinny side. So I cut it as thick as the tires. You saw me hold it up and measure it. And now I'm using this heart-shaped cutter that I have to make the treads. I'm just trimming out kind of little bottom of the wet, little crescents, you know, from the heart shape. You could use a circle cutter if you have that. I just chose to use this because it's a bit more pointy, kind of more triangular. And I'm just cutting out my little bat shapes, little little wedges, one after the other after the other. And I cut a whole bunch of them, so I'm not going to show it to you because it was boring. And now once you have them on, then you're going to start sticking them to your tires. Now, you have to be careful which direction your tread is going because the tires are going to face outwards. So you're going to have two facing one way, two facing another. The tread on the tires always faces forward, like your little little bats or little arrows are always pointing down to the, toward the ground in front of them. So you're going to have two tires, you know, with the, uh, as you see, like right here, the tires, the tread is kind of going counterclockwise. And then you're going to have two tires with it going clockwise. So be careful of that. All right, we're moving on to Blaze's body here. I took some red gum paste once again, kind of made a rectangle out of it, as you see. And I'm trying to make the back end come up while the front end goes down a bit. And I have it sectioned off in the center. I am trying to do like, he's got kind of like, um, like an old, you know, 50s or 60s Cadillac kind of fins on the side look to him. So that's what I'm trying to do in the back there. You can see, see how it's kind of going? And in the front, it tapers down, but you can't let it go down too low. He's got to have a nice blunt front to him because you have to leave room for his face. He needs the eyes, he needs the mouth and the grill. To, so you got to leave some room. He was kind of actually difficult. Now I'm putting a very thin little rectangle there down on the center of his hood. And on top of that, I'm putting another kind of thicker rectangle. Um, the, the first one I put down flares out a little bit, but it does not go to the edges in the front of the hood. And this one on top is, I don't know what it is. I don't know cars. It's like a vent or something, I guess. I don't know. But just be aware that those pieces exist and he should have those little ridges in the top of his hood. Now this piece is going to be the spoiler on the back of him because what monster truck with fins doesn't have a little mini spoiler. So I cut the rectangle, cut it at an angle so it was more like a triangle. And now I'm putting two little tiny rectangles. You see them? They're cute little triangles or excuse me, rectangles. Those are going to be the little brackets that will hold up my fin. See? See how it all comes together? My little fin there. 
Now I am moving on to um, the roll bar, I guess it is. I cut, again, another rectangle. I'm going to cut the sides of it kind of wedged upward because it kind of tapers in like that, you see? And I'm going to hollow it out. So right now I'm just kind of measuring it out, getting the feel of it. Once I have it to the right size, I'm going to just trim out the center very carefully. Now it's going to end up making it sag in the center because until the gun paste sets up and gets firm, it's not going to support the weight and it's gonna get a little droopy. So you're gonna see in a second, once I put it into place like that, you get the feel of it there. I'm gonna end up putting a little piece of paper towel in it to support it. You'll see that in a moment. This is gonna be the windshield of my blaze. So I just have my red rectangle. I'm kind of hollowing it out carefully in the center there. You see, I'm still leaving a ridge around the outsides so that when I put the piece of blue gum paste in the center to be the windshield, it will sit recessed into it. It won't sit on top of it and stick out. Now that did displace some of the red. It made it kind of change shape, so I had to retrim it to clean it up. I got my blue rolled out really thin. I cut off two edges just so I could have something to work with. And then I map it out, cut it out, add some water, stick it in. Just like that. There we go. Now he's got his windshield. And that's going to sit right in that original little ridge that I had made. Just like that. You see, it's all coming together now. And once I have everything placed, then I'm going to start actually putting water down to make everything stick. And there's that little droop that's ha happening there. So once I put the spoiler on, a little bit of water, you're going to see right there. There's a little piece of paper towel. I just folded it up tight, wedged it on in there, and I'll remove it once it's dry. All right, now moving on to his face. I'm hollowing out a couple little eye sockets. They're more of a square shape, so be aware of that. So I started with a circle just kind of pressed in, and now I'm trying to square it out with the smaller end of my ball tool there. I didn't do terrible, but you know, take your time with it. <laughs> I'm using my veining tool to make his mouth. His mouth is very long, goes across the bumper. And now I'm trying to make a couple of ridges that are going to be where the grill is of the front of him. So remember when I said you got to leave yourself a lot of space on that front even though it tapers down he can't be too small or you won't have room for everything. This is why he's got a lot going on on the front of that little truck. Okay now I outlined around his grill a little bit you saw and now I'm filling in the eyes with some white gum paste. Once again just pressing it in using a little bit of water to make it stick trying to make sure it's still maintaining most of its square shape. I put a little thin, thin roll of black into the gully that I made for his mouth. and just pressing that in, smooth it out. Going to add a little bit more black now for the grill itself. So I'm, everything is rolled really thin here. And I've cut little rectangles. I put it on there. I'm just going to trim off whatever doesn't fit right. So and I'm also going to kind of follow the, how it tapers down as well. So I'm not going to have a perfect rectangle. It's going to be, you know, the angles are going to be cut onto the edges. So I've got the two of those there. I've got the black in his mouth. Now I'm going to add another little tiny rectangle onto the front of that top piece there, whatever that is. And now I'm going to start adding white details. All right, this long little very, very thin crescent piece very long skinny piece is going to go in his mouth to be his teeth because monster trucks as we all know have perfect teeth like they're just perfectly white perfectly symmetrical it, they have beautiful smiles it's just insane i'm going to start adding the little white details to his fin as you can see there or a spoiler excuse me it's just little teeny tiny triangles one on each side just like the one you can see there i'm going to put another long skinny little triangle very thin very long on either side of that top whatever that is exhaust vent I don't know and yeah there you go okay so now the white is done oh that one needed a little tweaking sorry I forgot about that okay now I'm gonna say the white is done and you can see I also outlined the front of that little grill thing vent thing on top of his hood okay now I've added his blue eyes pretty blue eyes I'm going to add a couple balls of black gum paste for the pupils in his eyes. Now make sure you don't cover too much of the blue. It's probably like a 50-50 ratio and he has a lot of white that shows around his eyes too. So be careful of that. And as you saw and I talked through, I added a couple little balls of white for highlights. These are his little flame decals on the side because what would Blaze be without his little fire? I cut kind of like a circle but then gave it three tendrils kind of coming out 
almost like a jellyfish or something with one long one on the top and then they get a little bit smaller stick them on the side you know press them down make them a little bit more wavy a little more fiery than your straight up cuts and it will be perfect all right now i am going to add a couple fenders around the tire wells i just have some red gum paste once again rolled it out pretty thin this is on the thinner side and i cut real long skinny skinny little rectangles out of it and just using some water press it up against the side so now you can see with the tire how it's all going to come together right okay we're still not done with blaze i have four balls of red gum paste now i am taking each ball and i'm pressing it down into the countertop that i'm working on but keeping the rest of it more ball like and those are going to be the spotlights that go on his roll bar so i'm doing the four of them pressing down on the one side keeping the rest round i'm going to take some white gum paste cut out four little tiny circles and I'm going to stick them on those flat parts that are smooshed down against the surface of the counter so those are going to become the, the spotlights <laughs> it's going to be flat in the front rounded in the bottom they're all going to go up next to each other and when you put them on top of his roll bar there they actually look pretty cool I gotta say I was happy with how this one this little part came out it's a tiny little detail but it really helps and they're so wiggly and crooked as you can see, they're kind of like, you know, my kid's teeth. So use the knife, press up against it, and then it straightens them all out. I'm using a orange food color marker to just draw some flames over the yellow. I did it on both sides. And now our blaze part is done. We're going to move on to the, I don't even know, the lifts, I guess, between the tires and his body. So I've got two 8-inch lollipop sticks. I cut them in half, so now I've got four 4 inches. And I'm taking gray gum paste, rolling it over top of the lollipop stick and pinching off the extra all to one side. So I'm pressing down on it pretty hard to try to get as much of the excess off to one side as I can. And then I trim it off with my knife, roll it out, you know, again, making it as thin as possible. I'm going to use the knife there to trim off the extra off of each end because honestly, he's still going on top of a cake. It's not going to be real tall. But you do need to have a little bit of lift there, so that's what I'm doing. Giving myself some room, some wiggle room, if you will. I'm going to show you again on this one here, on this piece of lollipop stick as well. Thread a big wad of gum paste through it. Roll it on the counter so it all pushes and mushes and pinch it off to one side. Trim the excess off with your knife. And then roll it and kind of clean it up. Anything extra, pinch it off, trim it off. Don't go too crazy or you will go through and end up hitting your lollipop stick and have to start over. And if you do, it's no big deal. You just have to start over. Trim off the excess off each end and then you should be good. Now I'm going to put, I don't know what it is. I don't know trucks. I'm sorry, guys. The coil that goes around his suspension or his lift. I rolled out some red, really long and thin as you saw. I painted the whole gray with water with my paintbrush. And I just started at the top and twisted my way down. So it looks pretty cool. It looks really nice. So once again, take your red gum paste, roll it really, really thin, long and skinny. Paint that silver you got on there, that gray with the water all over. And you gotta be a little bit liberal because you don't want your coil to slip or slide. Start at the top and then just twisty, twisty twist it got to fix it because sometimes your twists get uneven and then all the way down take it all the way down trim off the extra there you go all right now that we've got our tires done we've got blaze done we've got our little suspension systems done it is time to put this all together and i don't know if i mentioned it but the tires and blaze will need like a full day to sit before you can put it together so don't put any weight on it lay the tires down flat to let them dry and harden you gotta give yourself time when you make this decoration. All right, what I am doing now is I'm taking my tires and you see how I had mentioned before about the way the tread goes, you have to have two of them going clockwise, two going counterclockwise. This is why. So when you put it all together, it all looks proper and makes sense. So I had stood them up, so I found a way that they would all stand very nicely and comfortably facing the right way. Now I'm taking some gray gum paste. I rolled it out thick, as you saw. Actually, I just pressed it kind of thick. And I just cut out some gray rectangle wedges. Those are gonna go into the center of the back of the tire. I'm gonna take the suspension that I made, trim off some of that excess lollipop stick on the bottom, and I'm gonna shove it on into our little square or rectangle we got there. I trim it down so it's the same length as the tire. I don't want it going anywhere past the tire. This way, Blaze will sit its weight 
not only on that little stick of suspension, but also on the tires themselves. So he'll be nicely supported. I do it for the front and the back on the same side. I'm just using the one suspension. I just kind of cut it in half, as you see, with my little clippers there. And I have it so that it goes at an angle. So the suspension doesn't go straight up. It's going to go up and toward the center. So more towards the center of Blaze's body. I'm going to do the same thing now for the other set of tires. Make sure you're careful which way you angle them. Now when you stand them up all together, they're going to end up facing toward the center from the center of the tire. Make sure you don't put it too low. It's supposed to go from the center into the center of Blaze's body. You see? See how that all just kind of comes together? And we made the two of them, the two suspensions, so it all works. Set him on top and you've got him. You can pose the tires, you can turn them, you know, you can do whatever you want. So there's Blaze. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it does help me out, as I may have mentioned. I've got a lot of other videos out there, so please check those out too. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.